Good day. We are coming on the air with a major development in the Russia investigation. President Trump's former campaign manager, Paul Manafort, is going to jail. The first Trump campaign aide sentenced in special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation heads to jail tomorrow. George Papadopoulos will spend two weeks behind bars. And as NBC's Jennifer Johnson reports, a Trump supporter said today that Mueller's report will be devastating to the president. A federal judge Sunday rejected a last-minute bid by former Trump campaign advisor George Papadopoulos to delay his two-week prison term. Papadopoulos, the first Trump campaign aide, sentenced in Robert Mueller's Russia election investigation. George Nader, an American advisor to the government of the United Arab Emirates, convicted sex offender and frequent visitor to the White House during President Donald Trump's first year in office, has pleaded guilty for his role in helping the UAE pump millions of dollars in illegal campaign contributions into the U.S. political system during the 2016 presidential election. To the United States now, because we've got breaking news regarding the U.S. political strategist Steve Bannon. He's been sentenced following his conviction on two counts of contempt of Congress. Congress. Alan Weisselberg, the Trump Organization's former chief financial officer, has been sentenced to five months in jail. Now, he pleaded guilty last year to multiple tax crimes related to former President Trump's real estate empire. After some developing news, we're learning more today after police were called out to the home of President Trump's former campaign manager. Now, he was hospitalized after reportedly threatening to harm himself. New details after Fort Lauderdale police were called out to a home on DeSoto Drive in Seven Isles on Sunday by a woman claiming claiming her husband was armed and suicidal. That man, later identified as 44-year-old Brad Parscale, the former Trump campaign manager. It's Mike Flynn, of course, President Trump's first national security advisor. Uh, he pled guilty just over a year ago to lying to the FBI. We have since learned from the special counsel's office in public-facing court documents that Flynn has met with them 19 times. Money, former national security advisor Michael Flynn, and it reveals the depth of the effort to undermine American de democracy back in 2020. Former President Trump's ex-attorney, Michael Cohen, has met with investigators at the Manhattan District Attorney's Office. Now, the office has been investigating the former president for years now. At first, the investigation focused on Trump's alleged hush money payments arranged by Cohen to adult film actress Stormy Daniels, may remember. Uh, the judge just handed down the sentence. Uh, Roger Stone will be getting prison time. He will be getting 40 months in prison. That's what the judge handed down. Former Trump deputy campaign chair Rick Gates was sentenced Tuesday to 45 days behind bars by a U.S. federal judge. The once powerful lobbyist will spend an additional three years on probation and pay a $20,000 fine. 